Hi there guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to another episode of, uh, you know, oh, I've completely fucked my own intro, what the hell? God, it's been so long since I've done recording, oh my god, right, so we'll try that again, shall we? Hi there guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to Jonesy's, uh, you know, podcast. Um, it, it is just me, once again today, I am on my own. Um, I'll get on to the reasons why, um not why I'm on my own, uh, the reasons why I've been sort of so quiet over this past sort of 10 days really since my last upload, um, but yeah, first of all just want to say uh, Happy New Year to everyone, hope everyone is doing really well and had a really nice Christmas period and New Year period and everything, um, you know, certain amounts of you will be back at school now, so um, yeah, sorry about that, and uh, others of you will of course be back at work and everything, And well I've been back at work since, god, what date was it, the twenty. 20- I've been back since the 28th now, um, so yeah, I was back straight away, I didn't have that much of a break really, but then again, most people don't get much of a break, do they? Um, and of course, a lot of poor people have just had no break at all over the Christmas period due to the very shitty floods that have uh, have been in, well, overall, all of the UK, but it's uh, it's been especially bad in, uh, in Yorkshire over over the Christmas period, especially Boxing Day, um, it got very local to me, really. Um, I did mention in the Christmas diary that I did, um, I'm, I'm lucky where I live, really, because uh, I live on quite a steep hill, so if it, you know, it could rain and rain and rain constantly for like a whole week, and I, I wouldn't get flooded, really. So, um, But yeah, very close to me, Kirkstall, which in the time I've been alive, I can never remember being flooded. Uh, Kirkstall Road and Kirkstall and everything was terrible, really, really awful. Um, so a lot of poor souls and a lot of businesses have been um, pretty much ruined by it, and people's Christmases have been ruined. So, yeah, you can't really complain about having to go back to work a little bit earlier when some people's, you know, work has been destroyed. So, uh, yeah, I'll stop complaining. That's one thing I've I've going to do from this year. I, I always complain about very, very little minute things and it and not I I annoy myself doing it. It's one of those things that I can I've never really been able to help doing, but I kinda look back over this year and some of the little things that I have sort of complained about and moaned about and then I just think about everything in general. It's like, you know what, there's really no need to be worrying about that. You know, there's been a, a few things that have put thing in uh, in perspective over the past few weeks and everything. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stop complaining. So you can expect a, a less moany complaining Jonesy dish. Well, no, not completely, because I'm still going to moan about some things, because that's what the podcast is for, of course. Um, so, yeah, I hope everyone has had a, a good uh, break off and everything, and uh, back into the swing of things. So, yeah, I've I've not done or put much content out for a while, because basically, I, instead of having a break over Christmas, I, I just decided to work through it for some reason. Uh, obviously, I, I had sort of the week leading up to Christmas off from work, uh, but I just seemed to be constantly doing YouTube stuff. Obviously, I was doing um, the best and worst games of the year videos. I was putting together a uh, my 2015 best bits compilation thing. I was editing and sorting bar chat out for uh, the bar chat channel. Um, so sort of th- like even Christmas Eve, I was doing stuff. Boxing Day, I ended up doing stuff. Um, and when I wasn't doing that, obviously I was sort of, you know, entertaining friends and family and going out and everything. Um, and I literally didn't really have that much time just sort of to myself to relax or watch things that I wanted to or play games that I wanted to. I mean, I got Assassin's Creed Syndicate for Christmas. I haven't really been able to get into that too much. You know, I got loads of, uh, well, loads. I got quite a few DVDs that I wanted to watch. And I haven't had a chance to watch any of them yet. So... So like I say, I was straight back to work quite early, um, so I got a few things done then, and then it was New Year's, which obviously I got the Best Bits video out for, um, and then it was um, 
Lee and Meg went on their honeymoon for a week. Now, whilst they were doing that, they uh, they asked me if I would look after uh, the house and, well, more specifically, the dog, uh, Alfie, who you've seen in a lot of Bartat videos. If you uh, if you do follow us on Bartat, of course, again, I'll be getting onto that uh, later on in the podcast. Uh, but yeah, you will see Alfie a few times. Well, he's, he was in my best bits, actually. You'll, you'll see Alfie there. So yeah, I was asked to, um, to look after them for, uh, for the week. And initially, I decided I was going to use the week for recording stuff and getting stuff recorded, getting stuff done for the channel. But on that first night, I, I found myself sat in front of the TV and everything. I was just sat back relaxing, having a drink. And I was like, do you know what? I'm actually going to have a proper holiday where I'm not having to worry or think about doing YouTube or doing any work or anything. I mean, I was having to go to work during the day and everything, but I just wanted a week where I could come home at night and have a weekend where I didn't have to worry about what I was uploading or editing or ideas for the channel. And do you know what? It's done me the world of good because I've I've sort of come back. I came back on um, Monday night, um, Wednesday today, obviously. So, and I just came back so refreshed and wanting to get going with fresh sort of ideas and wanting to do stuff with Barta and everything. Now, now Lee is back and everything and, and sort of settled and sorted after the wedding and Christmas and all that. Um so only just really seen him properly for the first time today at work actually so you know we've already been talking about things youtube wise uh so yeah it, it was just good just to have that a proper week away from everything and just refresh my ba my brain yeah bane was involved for some reason uh, but i also wanted to refresh my brain at the same time um and just kind of recharge the batteries really and uh yeah i mean it was a shame not to get stuff out um but really none of you whether none of you cared uh, because i didn't have any comments or people asking where any content was or whether you were just kind of happy yourselves just to not have loads of content on your youtube feeds i don't know i won't take it as a personal insult anyway guys so yeah that's uh that's basically the reasons behind everything so yeah i'm back now and uh, i'm not too sure really my schedule for the next uh, sort of week really um friday i've got off from work so i'm working on the saturday so i'll probably use that day mainly for recording and getting stuff done and planned out uh, but i will be i've just well obviously i was i've been saying it for ages but i'm gonna basically gonna try and get the biggest bulk recording of game of thrones done ever like literally just sit down and kind of blitz through at least two hours of it so i'm really just set then for the next couple of weeks game of thrones wise so i can do that i'm gonna hook up my ps3 properly so that i can do the dark souls challenge that i've been wanting to do for ages and also another few things i've come up with a few more challenge games that i can do um few on the ps4 as well that i want to do and there's also something on the xbox 360 i wanted to get into as well so gaming wise i feel like i should be covered pretty well over the next few weeks um other than that i will be continuing the weekly diary under its format because people seem to enjoy that and the way that it was done and it makes it a lot easier for me as well instead of doing it daily and editing it and getting it out and everything it uh it just takes a strain off really it's a lot easier just filming here and there throughout the week and then just you know blitzing through the editing on a saturday or a sunday so i will be continuing that uh, question time is going to be continuing through um this year i'm however not going to be sort of doing it on a weekly basis it's just going to be sort of here and there maybe maybe a fortnightly basis something like that um but obviously you know a lot of people i'm not saying people are getting tired of it because people do watch it and still ask questions and everything um but it can i don't know maybe it is getting a little bit stale or obviously people are somehow running out of things to ask um but i'm getting sort of the same people asking the same question which isn't isn't a, an issue i don't mind uh, the same people asking questions but it'd just be nice to get it freshened up with a few new people kind of getting involved so just for now i'm putting it on um you know i'm not doing it as regular basically so yeah question time is still a thing so if you do want to get your questions in um as always if you can just leave them in the question time video comments um or you can just do it at twitter at chris jones lufc uh, using the hashtag jones's questions um so yeah that's still going to be going on just not as regular as before and yeah the podcast is still going to be going strong i'm hoping to uh, get lee back in next week uh, like I say, I've hardly really spent much time with uh, with Lee uh, for a good few weeks now. Um, so we're going to be getting some stuff done then. And like I say, hopefully a decent podcast. Because this is more of a very quick rambly one. Just kind of going through a few things. 
Um, but yeah, we'll probably do a proper like kind of gaming geeky thing next week uh, if we get together on the Wednesday, which uh, I'm, I'm hoping will go to plan. Um, so yeah, channel wise, that's really it. What else do I do? Uh, or else, what else did I have planned? Uh, hopefully, if we all get together, uh, meaning Mealy and Charlie, we will get something sorted out for my channel that I've been, well, pretty much doing for like six months now, and just not, ha- I've just not had the chance or the time uh, to get this certain project finished. So hopefully, I don't want to put a time scale on it, but hopefully in the next month, um, you know, Lee said it himself, we want to concentrate on getting that done before we even do any bar tat um, uh, productions kind of stuff. So. Uh, hopefully that should be out, like I say, within the next month or so. Um, so yeah, channel-wise, that pretty much covers everything. Um, I'm going to be starting writing for a um, a website, uh, which I think I mentioned in the last question time, um, or the last podcast, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, but yeah, The Geek Axis, which I, uh, again, will put a link in the description. Um, I'm going to be writing with um, a good friend Chelsea, who who set the website up uh, a while ago and has been doing it um, on her own? But she she kindly asked if I wanted to, you know, get involved and help out and everything. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be writing I think two articles a week, uh, one on a Saturday, and I can't remember the other one. It was either Monday or a Wednesday. I'll have to check that actually. So hopefully um, my first post will be going out this Saturday. Um, I'm not going to say too much, but it is going to be based sort of around Jessica Jones, which I've been, uh, well, hopefully I might even have finished tonight. Um, I, oh my God, I've been loving that series so much. Um, I, I remember seeing it come out because like, I've never been the biggest kind of comic book hero kind of guy. I've always kind of liked them, but never been overly kind of enthused by them. Um, you know, DC, Marvel, I've not really kind of... I don't want to say I've not cared for, but I've just not had that interest. But when I saw Jessica Jones sort of come out on Netflix, I thought that looks like something I want to, to watch, especially seeing as though David Tennant was in it. Uh, you know, I absolutely loved David Tennant. I think he's a fantastic actor, and seeing him as a villain um, was something I was so interested in. So, yeah, started watching that a while ago, and I just... <laughs> I'm really terrible at watching things and sticking to things. Like, if I really like something and I get into it, I will binge watch. But at the moment, I just have not had the time to binge watch anything. Um, So I think I'd only watched, like, five episodes from when I started watching it, like, a month ago. Um, And last night, I managed to go through four. Um, I watched one before... Uh, I listened to the Leeds United game, and then once the Leeds United game had finished, I watched another three in quick succession. So I think I've only got like three more to watch. So I might try fit them in tonight. If not, then definitely tomorrow. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, then go check it out on Netflix. It is so, so well done. It has quite a slow start, but once you get gripped into the story um, and you see sort of the villain character in it and, the, you know, Jessica Jones as a character, there's so much character development in it as well, which is, is really, really great to see. And it's, oh, yeah. I, there's there's no words, there's not enough words that I can say for it, really. Um, so yeah, that'll be um, on... Saturday, hopefully I'll be getting my first uh, my first article out, like I say. So yeah, that's something fun and new and interesting that I'll be doing uh, this year. So just something else to keep um, me occupied, basically. Not that I needed anything else to keep me occupied, because I'm always complaining about not having time. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that, like I say. It's something different. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can, can go check it out as well. Um, uh, I think... To be honest, there's not really anything else I needed to update you on, really. Uh, like I say, I've gone through all the channel stuff. Um, I should point out, really, with the channel, you know, I'm always open to suggestions. You know, if there's anything that you would particularly like to see me do, um, or specifically, like, with, with the gaming side of things, is if is there a game that you want to see me play? Um, you know, is there a certain challenge that you want to see me do? Is there a style of video you, you'd quite like to see? Um, you know, you can always, always let me know. Uh, you know, I'm not guaranteeing that I will always say yes to it, but I will certainly take it on board and I will always, you know, respond to you and everything. Um, so, you know, be, feel free to, to leave suggestions in the comments or again at my Twitter. Uh, like, I've said it before, but for new people that, that are new to the channel, funnily enough, if you're new, um, yeah, I'm not, I don't do FIFA videos. 
I don't really do Call of Duty videos. I'm not into that style of YouTube video. It doesn't suit me. It's not what I like to do. I like to do things my own way. Um, I don't kind of like to follow a crowd on things. So it's not my style. So no FIFA or Call of Duty kind of things will be happening here. Uh, but apart from that, I'm really open to anything. So uh, please do let me know. Um, so apart from that, what's been happening recently? Um, we've been losing a lot of uh well two specifically um very big music icons recently um just after christmas we uh, of course lost lemmy uh the uh the lead singer and, and bassist from motorhead which was very sad because it was so sudden um i think he'd only known like a week that he'd had cancer or something like that or even a couple of days i don't know um, so that was really sudden and very sad because I, I, I would never claim to be, you know, a massive, massive Motorhead fan, but I certainly did like a lot of their music. But I think the thing with them is that it was such an iconic band and an iconic look. And to me, Lemmy, and well, and to a lot of people, he was just that, he just embodied that kind of rock metal star kind of persona and everything you know if if you thought or if you were to say ask some, you know what is a rock or metal star musician what what are they you would just kind of point them towards lemmy you know you, you could look at him you could listen to him talk listen to his anecdotes and his stories and stuff that's happened over the year and he was just he was just everything to do with that you know that genre of music and everything um and you know gave us so so many memorable songs i mean ace of spades yeah it's one of those that can get overplayed and everything and people say oh it's you know it's quite a boring same song but it isn't it to me it's such an iconic song that the bass line in it is is fantastic um you know it's a very catchy one there's overkill of course um so yeah that that was sad again because it was such a shock um but you know you can celebrate a life like that. He 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 bloody lived a good one. Let's put it that way. He certainly lived a very full and, and happy life. Um, and then of course, very sadly and again quite shockingly, uh, just the other day we we lost David Bowie, um, or Bowie, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I think he was actually famed for saying uh, quite a few years ago that even he'd forgotten how to pronounce it. Now it had been gone so long. Um, and yeah, I I was literally. Whilst I was at Lee's, I was having to get up early with, with the dog and I'd woken up at, I think it was 20 past 6 that morning and I was just going through my phone on Twitter and it, it came through at about sort of 20 to 7, quarter to 7 and when it first came up, a lot of people, myself included, thought, oh, it's one of those Twitter hoaxes, you know, it, it's not real and then sort of slowly over the next 10, 15 minutes, more and more news agencies were sort of reporting it, it was like, wow, shit, this has actually really happened. Um, and yeah, it's again just a proper true icon of music. Uh, again, I would not claim to be David Bowie's biggest uh, fan. You know, I'm not one who owns all his records or saw CDs or anything. However, he, he has so many, many good songs. Like, you go through the songs and you just think, oh my god, there's so, so many good ones there. Like, you know, you can go back to the original you know like ziggy stardust and everything uh space odd uh, Oddi 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 space oddity so i'm just having a bit of a fit there um for me it's such an iconic one is starman because it's one of my earliest music memories of kind of seeing something different out there because like when you it, it was round about year five so i'd have been what nine years old i think around that time um so like when you're that young your, your music knowledge is kind of charty stuff and, and poppy stuff so around that time it was like what was in the charts like um eiffel 65 blue dabba d and lou was it lou bega with mamba number five and spice girls and britney spears and everything so it was just kind of that you were stuck to and then one day for um it was like an end of year school production thing and it was a music based one um, our year five teacher put on Starman by David Bowie. I remember listening to it and thinking, I was like, my God, this is like so different to anything I've listened to before. And to me personally, Starman is 
will always be sort of my favourite David Bowie song. But yeah, like I say, you know, you've got Ziggy Stars. Rebel Rebel is such a fantastic song. I, I love that. I mean, the guitar riff in that itself is, is amazing. Changes, Heroes, Life on Mars, Let's Dance. Oh, I mean, Let's Dance. Again, I'm wanting to actually learn the bass line from that myself um, because that's just an I- iconic sound to it. But I, the thing about David Bowie, and I actually put this on Facebook the other night, is that the reason I call him like a true music icon is because he really did sort of pave the way for so many things in music. And when he first came out, he kind of showed people that, you know, you could be different and it was acceptable to be different. You know, people that were maybe too afraid to show their differences and dress differently and sound different and act different. David Bowie came on the scene and, you know, looking the way that he did with these different personas, different characters, endless amounts of hairstyles and fashion sense and, uh, you know, songs and everything. And he just let people know it's it's okay to be different. It's cool to be different. You can be an amazing person and not be, you know, following the main crowd and everything. And he carried that on throughout his entire life, right up until his death. I mean, you look at the, the last album that he released and, um, oh, God, I, I'm can't remember the the last song uh like the single that was released and it was basically him you know it was like a goodbye to everyone he he, you know apparently it seems like he must have known you know for a while that he wasn't going to live that much longer and it's all in this song and it's in the video and it's it's quite sad it was quite harrowing to watch actually when i first saw it uh it was quite difficult um but you know ever the showman right up to the last uh and i mean it was even his uh, wife, is it Imam, his wife I think, released uh, a picture that she'd taken of him just two days before his death and you look at it and you do, he didn't even look ill and he was still in, you know, kind of that David Bowie style, he still looks so suave, so stylish and he, he looks so happy so it one of those things, maybe he was just ready to go he wanted to be in control and everything so um, but yeah, for me, he really is one of the true music icons that has that has left us uh you know there's not that many in music that have been around but for me david bowie's definitely one of them um so yeah that was that was quite sad i know this podcast has turned into like a tribute to to music people that have died recently but um yeah i i was quite quite saddened by it very shocked uh, more than anything i still can't quite believe it really but um yeah you know such a, a fantastic catalog of songs that you know it will live on forever through so um anyway away from the morbid stuff um what else oh i was going to show something else this is completely going off topic and has nothing to do with uh musicians and death and everything but something i just found something out on my phone it was through twitter i think or maybe facebook hang on a second just get my phone um if you ask siri to beatbox for you you get the best answer ever so hang on a second Siri, beatbox for me. Here's one I've been practicing boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I could do this all day. Cats and boots and 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 cats. How amazing is that? Give it up for Siri, everyone. That's that is the I don't even know how anyone has found that out. Um I think it was on Facebook that I saw it. But yeah, I I do love the kind of crazy things that Siri will uh, will will do and you know say for you and everything. Um, yeah, there was something else I was gonna say. Oh God, what was it now? I think I was actually gonna go back to channel stuff. I don't think I talked about Bartat, did I? Um, yeah, Bartat is gonna be kind of coming back with a bang. Um, we've got so much planned for this year because. Mainly last year we we I don't want to say neglected but we didn't put as much effort in well not mainly not really through our own fault um, but we didn't do what we wanted to do on Bartak Gaming there was so much more we wanted to do on the Bartak Gaming channel last year that we just couldn't get round to doing for various reasons um, so this year we've got so much more planned um and that we're going to stick to and keep doing so there's going to be a lot more content there which hopefully should sort of start coming out at the end of the month um so there's plenty of plans there for to keep that going and the bar tap productions channel again that's going to be going strong that's going to still have all the bar chats on it which uh we are recording our next one 
um, on Friday the 29th. So hopefully that should go out on the 31st of January, um, depending on if I get my editing skills in gear, which should be fine, really. Uh, so, yeah, the bar chats will still be going out on there. Uh, we've already got a definite two um, kind of big projects that, that are going out. Uh, there's one that was basically the first one we came up with last year, um, but we thought was such a big project, wanted to put it on hold for a bit. So that's going to be going all steam ahead this year. We've got another little kind of sketchy one idea that we're going to do. Um, when I say a sketchy one, I don't mean it's it's one that's, you know, a sketchy idea. There's not much to it. I mean, it, it's a sketch. Um, so, yeah, that's a definite one. So we wanted to go down the route of doing a lot more little sketches. So, like, in terms of big productions, there's probably only going to be, like, two or... Th well, I don't want to say two or three. There's probably only going to be two. And then it's going to be surrounded by more sketches and maybe, like, live challenges, things like that. Um, and there's also an idea, which I pitched to Lee the other day, um, of kind of a sitcom-style thing uh, when me and Charlie move in together. Uh, but again, that's kind of a very early thing that's only just been mentioned. So, um, yeah, we're hopefully going to be having kind of a bit of a, a meeting over the next couple of weeks, hopefully before Bar Chat, um, and literally just sit down and come up with stable ideas that we're going to stick to and uh, hopefully get done at various points throughout the year. So, yeah, we hopefully it's going to be a very, very big year for, for Bar Tap, both gaming and productions. Um, it's, uh, yeah, hopefully should be very exciting times. I mean, you know, I'm always excited for... For my stuff as well, you know, Lee's got a lot of stuff going out on his channel. I mean, he started doing uh, his own uh, diary thing, which is literally call it a diary thing, uh, which uh, which is doing really well. Uh, he's got like a thing called Cool Shit That I Own that he's going to be doing on a, well, I don't want to say a regular basis. I don't want to put the pressure on him, uh, but just kind of going through things that he owns, basically, as the title suggests. Um, and yeah, he's going to be carrying on his, you know, just play it's and his other playthroughs and everything. So, you know, his channel's going to be going well. And mine, hopefully, again, we'll sort of have another pickup after, um, you know, after the kind of the loss of, you know, all the football stuff and the subscribers and the views from that. Hopefully I can pick myself up again as my own channel, really. Um, and with the support of you guys, I'm, I'm sure that will be fine. I mean, even if it doesn't pick up and I was to stay around this mark of subscribers and views, then I would still be a very happy guy because um, it's, you know, it's better than what a lot of people, um, you know, get. So I'm very lucky for that, really. But, yeah, it should be a good year. 2016, there's a, there's a lot planned. Um, I'm feeling very motivated with everything and I think it will be a good year. Um, all things considered as well, not just on the internet, you know, got a lot of things planned um throughout the year uh you know going out wise like people uh bands that i'm seeing and uh, comedians and events hopefully hopefully we're going to get to um a few sort of conventions this year like comic cons and euro gamer stuff and various things like that basically it's, it's going to be a big year i think it's going to be an expensive year obviously me and charlie hopefully going to be moving in together in you know maybe two three months time so obviously things might go a little bit tits up channel wise at that time but i'll let you know in good time anyway but overall that will make things better as well having my own space having uh, our own place to record and do things and sharing ideas and everything like that it will be so much better for us and having a more you know bat at hq will still I, was, I suppose mainly be in lee's room um but you know we can have a separate kind of recording space really which will be better for all of us so yeah, what I said was going to be a short ramble has turned into a 30 minute ramble, mainly about death. So I'm going to quickly move away from all that and uh, and end this podcast right here because there's nothing else for me to say. Um, so yeah, I hope uh, I hope you all enjoyed that, guys. If you are still listening, I apologise for it going on a bit longer. But yeah, hopefully there will be another podcast um, next week uh, with both uh, me and Lee, uh, kind of going more into depth about gaming and the internet and stuff like that so uh, so yeah that should be good um so i will say farewell uh, if it is your first time here then please do leave a like and also maybe consider subscribing because that is always very much appreciated and until next time guys take care of yourselves and i will see you all very soon